Okay, so let's see what happened today, but first, if you could uh, perform a little ballet by showing it to the left, and very slowly, turning towards the middle, and to the right. Wow, it looks very exciting. I have no clue what it's about. So first off, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to read um, what it says on here, because you probably can't see it, because I wrote really small. <laughs> Lent is about go giving up something like, like a diet. The reason we have Lent is because Jesus. Jesus had no water, no food for 40 days. Jesus was tempted by the devil, bracket Satan, but Jesus resisted. Um, so this is showing the 40 days of Lent, where um, uh, the 40 days of Jesus in the desert, and then this is the dove of peace. Obviously, um, dove re represents peace, and um, Jesus was um, in the desert for 40 days, as I, yeah, which is basically six weeks. So you're basically giving up whatever you want for six weeks, and um, that's about it. Really. And for the week, we're going to do two things that are nice. And for example, like um, being nice to someone or just being kind in general, maybe helping someone when they, when they, like, when they need it or giving like uh, money to the homeless or giving stuff to charity. Thank you very much. That was very moving. And just uh, two uh, things, that uh, when we are at the Father's bosom, then we can raise the same questions what we are facing normally when we are far away from the Father's bosom. And we can compare the answers we give when we are far away from the Father and when we are very intimately uh, close to Him. The same applies to peace. I'm sure that when we recline and we are on the, between the shoulders of Jesus at his bosom, all of us say yes to peace and no to war, whatever form it takes. If someone doesn't accept that offer from the Father, then you can listen to the radio and follow the news how they answer that question. More weapons, mass hysteria, wicked enemy is coming, the Martians are coming and attacking us. We have to invest 3% of the GDP into weapons. John Paul II said that the arm industry is the sin of sins. It's structural sin. It penetrates the deep structure of society so we are very thankful for our children to show what our answer is when we are close to Jesus. Then the other thought, what I'd like to share is that one of the reasons today I understood why I like the children's presentation, because our liturgy is quite formal and strict, as mentioned, but they bring something of the playfulness of the Last Supper, the intimacy, the joy of the Last Supper, when we are reclining and we are on the, at the bosom of Jesus. So even if you don't realize, but you reveal us how the Last Supper was taking place in openness, playfulness, and joy, despite all the heavy stuff and themes about it. So thank you very much again for your presentation. And 